I see you stopped submitting your therapy bills for reimbursement. It's because I stopped going. Waste of time. It's just a temporary suspension, Mr. Locke. You think I'm temporarily disabled? Depression can be temporary, yes. And since you see fit to stop going to therapy, I guess you're all better. Guess I am. Listen, my name's Peter Talbot. Uh, I, I just need a couple of minutes to talk to you. Talk about what? My mother, actually. I think she might be in some trouble. You got the wrong, John Locke. How many kidneys do you have? It has to do with you, Mr. Locke, is that you donated one of your kidneys to Adam Seward. Only his name was different back then. He used to be Anthony Cooper. So I figured, hey, someone gave the guy his kidney, how bad could he be? Right? Well, it was an anonymous donation. I never met him. As her son came to me and asked why I gave you a kidney. He's on to you, but he doesn't have any proof. So he came to me hoping I would vouch for you. I want you to end it. I want you to call off the wedding because it's not fair. You make people think that you're their family and then you leave their life in ruins and I'm not going to let you do it again. Okay, John. You got it. Away. Mr. Talbot's family is worth somewhere in the neighborhood of $200 million. So I'm curious, what exactly was he selling you door to door? Well, I... Look, I told you I don't know him. And why was your name and address on a piece of paper in his pocket, Mr. Locke? Why were, would you be looking through his pockets? Because Peter Talbot's dead. I tell you to end things with his mother, and the next thing you know, he's dead. John, now calm down, please. Think about what you're saying. Why would I kill Peter? He was on to you! She's devastated. She's called off the wedding. There's no profit in it, John. I'm a con man, not a murderer. Alone. So if I were to call her right now, that's what she would tell me. Phone's right over there, John. What's her number? We know he fled to Mexico shortly after your encounter, then he disappeared. I'm sorry, but he could be anywhere in the world right now. Find time to get you up out of that bed. No, I don't want to. I don't remember asking. No, please, I, I can't do John, this. You fell eight stories and survived, okay? I don't want to hear about what you can't do. Let's go. Be right back, buddy.